Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, in this video, uh, we're going to have a look at a Pisces and what they are to face uh, throughout the upcoming week. So the very first reading is going to relate to a Pisces career. So let me, uh, let me shuffle. And... Uh, Let's get to it. So uh, the first card for you, Pisces, is going to be the King of Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have the Nine of uh, Wands, followed by, wow, the Star card It is the third one. And then the last one we do have for your career here, uh, that is going to be the Tree of Wands. Uh, so quite of, a, um, quite of an interesting one. Uh, well, first of all, with this, uh, with this reading here, once again, let me show you the cards. We do have the uh, King of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the uh, Star card, and the Tree of Wands. So pretty much uh, what that reading divulges, if we may say it that way, is that it is a bit too little too late to change the course of events. So pretty much you need or you are going to be compelled to I proceed with uh, whatever you are developing from the previous week or from the weeks and the months after that. So unfortunately, I don't, well, I don't know if it's going to, is if, oh my God, if it's going to be unfortunate for you or not, but you will have to proceed with your current deeds rather than to seek for a, say, new one. Now that's on the negative side though. Now on the plus side, we do have the uh, star card into the positive position in terms of your career and that really points that the um the subject the subjects with the plural form uh and the difficulties in general that you are facing in your current career uh path are to be resolved throughout the week uh because the star card there points that if you do make the addression or rather like the addression i don't know if there is a, such a word in english but if you do address those uh those issues throughout this week it is uh more than likely that you're gonna end up uh that you're gonna end the 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 process of turmoil or rather like the phase of a turmoil and difficulties that you are facing into your career now in fact whatever plans you do have they may look very uh, not just only plans but as well projects but as well uh, kind of like it, things that you do try to develop in terms of career they may look a little bit more sophisticated than, than, than you do like they may look even uh, a bit um, bigger piece for you to chew down but because we do have the King of Swords at the start of the reading, that does point that there is a way, okay? And, and that particular way can be found only through a careful analysis of the current situation, meaning the situation that you do enter up uh, with through uh, in, this, uh, in this particular week. And now as you do an analyze that situation, uh, and you are slowly but steadily developing the methods, the method of proceeding forward with uh, with your career. You are gonna come up with very effective drive and very effective actions to take on and get the job done um, according to the original requirements, demands, plan, etc. Okay, up until, uh, and it will be so effective that by the end of the week, in fact, you are, are going to find the most of your um, targets 
goals or milestones accomplished. So at the end of the week, uh, in your career, you are to sit on a well-established foundations and uh, a pretty much uh, established patterns as well, from which you can only build up even or, or kind of like grow even greater. Okay, so very very good reading for those which are in an ongoing career. It's just instead of they of them bailing out and waving the the white flag, they will have to kind of like challenge their brain and find a way through because there is a way through to whatever problem you do face there. Uh, those who are looking for a job, uh, well for them, uh, it does look like that there will be some kind of openings, but uh, openings in a sense of that um, they are to be, these people are to be, um, I don't know what word should I use here, demanded, or, or well, I will try to explain that way. Uh, throughout this week, you're going to see that there is an opening for the market of your particular set of skills. And uh, from there, getting a job, it is just will be just a, a matter of time. And I will give you an example with the current situation right now. You know, all of the cafeterias, bars, pubs, discos were closed. Now, as they are reopening, that means that the market for a um, barman's waitresses and uh, etc etc uh, is opening that is just an, an example if you are engineer maybe you know there are going to be establishment of a engineering companies that are going to look for a person like you are or simply you know more places are going to be open into a current existing engineering companies just as an, an example but uh Pisces your career in the next week looks rather satisfying here uh, where you are going to make progress through a careful analysis of the circumstances, identifying what the effective actions are going to be. So uh, that concludes the career reading. Now let's uh, have a look into the relationship reading for you guys. All right, so the first one here is going to be the uh, Temperance followed by the Six of Pentacles moving, uh, the Six of Cups, I'm sorry, moving next, we do have the Ten of Swords. And the last one is going to be Judgment. That's a tough one. Okay, so uh, let's uh, run the cards one more time before uh, I dive into it. So we do have the Temperance, Six of Cups, uh, Ten of Swords, and then is the Judgment. Uh, right, uh, so uh, right off the back here, uh, many uh, questions that you may have in regards to your relationship life are to be answered throughout this week. Now, just giving you an example here, if you are wondering, is your partner loves you truly or not, you're going to find that answer. But that answer is not going to come from, say, tarot reader or astrologer or psychic even, but you are going to see the signs, okay? that That is very important that you do follow the call of the universe and that call of the universe it is defined here by the judgment card and that is the, uh, the signs, the little things you see around are actually pieces of the puzzle, the puzzle all together for you within uh, and in your foresight. And uh, that will allow you to uh, actually be more attentive to the overview rather than to the details that you are finding yourself at right now in terms of a relationship life. Now, needless to say, that could be uh, positive uh, or rather like that could be a pleasant um, follow-up of the circumstances. It could be a bit as well unpleasant follow-up of the circumstances. But the thing is that because we do have the previous cards here, the temperance, the ten of swords into the representative positions of the spread, you can't do much about it. Only thing that you can do is, is just accept it, okay? 
as a uh, indestructible circumstances, if you will, unchangeable circumstances, if you will. Uh, now, regardless of are they going to be pleasant or unpleasant, for you, the very first appearance of those circumstances are not going to make you exactly thrilled. Uh, because even if they are un they are a pleasant circumstances, are not going to be the circumstances you would like them to be. Now, just because they do not fall with, uh, with your expectations, doesn't mean that you should, uh, how do you say... Um, resent them probably that's the word that i should use but instead you should show compassion solidarity and you need to respect them and that completely applies as well to the uh to the opinion of your current wife or a husband uh your current boyfriend or a girlfriend uh, they may not share your vision you know you may not share their vision as well but you need to respect each other's vision because currently at that stage the outcome is anybody's guess or rather like the future of uh, of your relationship life and relationship in fact is anybody's guess and it's going to be a tough uh, it's going to be a tough threshold to to cross if you will that you need to just accept the things as they are you know and, and just move on regardless of what move on means you know moving on may mean that you just resign about it and you keep up with the relationship moving on it could mean that you can't resign for them okay you can't accept that that is going to be the case and you move on from the relationship regardless of what is going to be that will be your true option available so um and that is the bottom line of the reading itself that you may have questions because uh, right now because the right answer to those questions haven't arrived and that right answer is going to open for you a new option available which is going to be the right option available for you guys and you gotta take it okay by the end of the week so whatever perception you do have by the end of the week that is the true perception and you have to pretty much you'll make your peace with it okay and even the, the true perception could be that you do have a really good bestie you know and you do enjoy your time together and that bestie shows interest in you romantic interest in you you hate yourself for it you know it's a pleasant outcome right I mean you see that someone cares you see that someone loves you but you don't know but you do not want that because they're your bestie well you have to live with it i mean because you can't change it and that opens completely new um, how can I say, uh, a way moving forward, should you decide to take it. Now, those cards are advising you to do so, whatever your perception is, at the end of the week, you go by it. But again, it's your life, it's your decision, okay? But one is certain, whatever the unpleasant circumstances are throughout this week for you, uh, Pisces, their uh, unpleasant influence, or rather like uh, unpleasant consequences, are going to be short-lived and after that even if it regards to a severance even if regards to a loss of a friendship even if regards to uh, something you know that you don't want to um, how can I say to have an absent of your life it will be replaced with something new. So it's, it's it's like a sacrifice okay you do sacrifice something for to gain something new that something new could be your freedom could be your love you know it could be your engagement etc etc so yeah you gotta go by with the flow you know you should not go against the current because going against the current only gonna make you struggle and sit in one place so that being said pisces uh, this was your a uh, weekly tarot readings career and relationship wise hopefully you do enjoy them and you like them guys and we're gonna see each other next time until then bye